so. I think so. Again, born in Buffalo. Had to endure many setbacks and the lone knockout loss of his career to Sergey Kovalev in 2012. But great to see that. now aligned with Mayweather Promotions in Las Vegas. Yeah, and we look at the uh, show stats. And one of the interesting yeah, things here is that, uh, you know, Thompson... Uh, landing at a really good rate, 32%, which is a pretty good rate overall, and 33% of its power punches, which is everything other than the jab. And that's pretty significant when you consider that we knew he was going to have the edge in jabs, which he does have a big edge. What's also significant is the stats of Uskatagi and how not as robust as they are. Let's talk about it. Remember just a year ago before Jose Uzcategui, former IBF 168-pound champion, fought Caleb Plant in January of this year, he was considered somewhat of a boogeyman since the first Andre Durrell fight. Remember when, um, look at those punch stats, horrible. Remember when, um, I mean, for um, um, Uzcategui, he's known to be like a, a, a high-volume pressure fighting power puncher. But in this case, he got beat up by a veteran with five losses. A guy who I've seen fight before against Sergey Kovalev. I knew I remembered him. He fought Sergey Kovalev on NBC when main events uh, uh, and Kathy Duva used to have that NBC deal around a time when like Brian Jennings fought Bowie Tupu. Like it was a little long time ago before PBC on NBC. So we're going to listen to the cards. Mo, uh, the uh, International Boxing Hall of Fame has its inductees for 2020. They'll go into Canasto. We're going to listen to the cards. Um, this is on the undercard of uh, Tank Davis versus uh, Yerkes Gambo. The next fight is going to be Badu Jack versus, um, excuse me, Jean Pascal, WBA world champion versus Badu Jack. And then, of course, the main event, as we talked about, Tank Davis versus Gamboa. You know, Uzkatagi, you know, I remember when he lost to Matt Vey Korobov. Remember, Matt Vey Korobov has got to be um, um, a fighter to have probably one of the worst years in boxing overall for 2019. But he had lost to him, right, rebuilt himself, got that Andre Durrell fight where Andre Durrell uncle had punched Jose Uzkat, the guy. Right? Fisticuffs in the ring. There's uh, Lionel Thompson. Fought Andre Durrell again. Beat him um, um, convincingly with a stoppage. Round eight. Fought Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant, you know, schooled him. But nonetheless, he fought a very, very good fight. Uh, fought his next fight in September of this year down in Mexico. Tijuana with a first round stop out, and here he is against a guy, uh, Lionel Thompson. I just updated my rankings earlier. I got to update all the way down to, um, um, I got to start on 122. Oh, here we are. Listen in. Please subscribe. We have a unanimous decision here. The score totals. You think they're going to rob him? Judge it brings high. Max DeLuca the scores about 95 to 94. Harold Hunt and Nola Oliver both scores about 96 to 92. All three in favor of the winner. Lionel Lonnie B. Thompson. Highly touted in the gym and now highly touted in his 168 pound debut. Lionel Thompson defeats Jose Uzcategui, recording the upset, Al, to kick off tonight's proceedings in the ATL. Three times before, he has lost by split decision, several of those very, very disputable. Tonight, this man makes a is a risk taker coming down to 168 pounds at age 34. The risk paid off. And, and for Uskatagi, really a, a bad style matchup. You know, this guy is a very effective, very good, exciting fighter. But, you know, back-to-back -back fights against Parker. shifty guys, clearly that's his kryptonite. If you put this guy against guys who want to trade and get in there, you have some good stylistic matchups, and probably he'll be more effective. Let's bring in our unofficial score, Steve Farhood. First, the official scores, gentlemen. What we saw was a, a fairly one-sided win for Thompson and remember we had the knockdown and the point deduction from Thompson. Uh, interestingly as we look at my score I had a 96-92 but I scored the first round 10-8 for Thompson and as we go back to the official scores you'll see, I see that Max DeLuca one of the more experienced judges in the world scored that first round 10-9 for Thompson. The other two scored at 10-8 so that's kind of interesting but clearly the judges got it right. Thompson controlled the fight despite that one point deduction and he wins unanimously.
Well, Lonnie Thompson set out to prove to the odds makers that the word side should not be added to the end of his nickname, Lonnie. You know, one thing that has to be pointed out, um, at the weigh-in yesterday, he came in at 189, no, he, he weighed in at 160, under 168 pounds, the limit, limit, but tonight, Jose Uzcata guy, which is rare for boxing these days, they showed an unofficial weigh-in when Uzcata guy stepped on the scale at 181, and um, Thompson stepped on the scale at 189 pounds, a 21 pound plus um, 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 rehydration. Nonetheless, I'm happy for him. You know, it's not illegal for him to do that. I just thought I'd point that out there. But still, nonetheless, for him to be the guy of the caliber of Jose, Jose Uzcat, the guy in this time, in this point in time in his career, that's a pretty significant step, especially opening up on the last uh, Showtime uh, um, um, boxing telecast or the last televised here in the states boxing telecast of the year i'm going to be covering the um japanese fight december the 31st i forgot it was a fight earlier today too that i missed against with show Ishida and israel gonzalez i believe well nonetheless i'm history controversy with fightview360.com my rankings are up to date i got all the way down let me tell you you got to go through all the sanctioning bodies the wba and the ibf are not fully updated yet but they're as close as I could get them because we're still waiting. Like, for some reason, they haven't updated yet. You know, but for the most part, WBC and the WBU, all my shit is updated. I got all the way down to before I had to stop. And I color-coded so you know who's... Wait, let's listen in. Oh, that's, the, that's when he's I didn't see it. I didn't see it. You can't be too overconfident in this with this guy. You need to work. Keep the jazz working. Now, just look at what's coming back at you. You got me? I didn't get the 122 yet. So, 126, let's, let's I did that this morning. In the ring. I didn't do the IBF for 122. It ain't a better From a world, month ago dude. when they last we knew that. We knew that coming in. You're not listening to me. You got to keep away. And now you're going to have to start throwing. And a lot. And throw everything. This round, you got to throw everything. If they knock you out, they knock you out or you knock them out. Now we got to suck it down. This is where it's at. You got me. Now you got to suck it up, and now we got to win these rounds.